All right, guys, your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com on my way to my first meetup in Long Island. Uh, this is gonna be fun, this is gonna be pretty interesting. It's gonna be a JavaScript uh, meetup. I hope you guys enjoy this video that I'm about to make for you guys, and I hope I enjoy this meetup too. Example, I spun up real quick just to see if you guys are interested um, how these methods can be used in React. Right, so we'll start off in complete. Can everyone see that? You guys are good? I know that's a little light, but that's not going to be the code color. All right. <coughs> so, I mean, I grow hot peppers pretty much all year round. And we've got a little array of hot peppers here. And uh, we have a little hotness next to them. So we've got two properties, name and hotness. And we're just going to do some basic manipulation in this array. So the first one we're going to return, this is a filter. So we're going to be filtering this uh, array. Uh, this first guy, we only want to return the ghost pepper. So in the beginning... I would assume that that filter method is probably highly optimized. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. But with that said, I don't really think you can get faster than the for loop. Because it's just, exactly. right? I mean, what, what mm -hmm. any other computer science people, like, what, like, you know? Well, the thing is that you don't know how the filter is implemented. Yeah. We're assuming that it's implementing yeah. JavaScript. <coughs> the fact of the matter is there's no reason why they couldn't uh, implement that in assembly. Right. Or, 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 or stack engine. Right. At the very least, there's like you a know, stack engine. That's in kernel. It's not code that you have yeah. to look at and play with. Right. So right. there's no reason why they can't. They may do it, they may not do it, but they, you know, this, the code was written by Mozilla or yeah, yeah. or whatever. Okay, yeah, that makes sense to me. You know? Yeah, because I ran into that with uh, Golang before, um, where I was trying to uh, implement a different version of Raven Park for like text parsing, and I really I could not get even close to equal to theirs. And I looked into it, tried to get into their function, and I found it's native code. So it's like yeah, it's you know they're, they're implementing something I can't I can't even look at. You yeah. know, like, so that would make sense to me. And obviously, like with this example, like. No, probably no difference. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, yeah, but, yeah, this but, uh, right, yeah. you know, if we, were, if we were going over an array of, uh, you know, if we we're interacting with a database or something like that, we'd be, so I could see how like the second method could end up being faster because they're using. Yeah, the here that this map function returns <coughs> into, right? So it returns this description, right? So if we, as here we do the console log of pepper map description, right? Now if we go and we do, let me cut out, man. Oh geez, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so if we, if I comment this out and I do just a console log on the uh, pepper map description, right? So on just the ob or the array of objects itself, and then I do it on the peppers. Um, to the channel codingphase.com. These are the the guys from the Long Island JavaScript Meetup. I really appreciate you guys having me here. I uh, just wanted to share with the audience. This is very important because a lot of people get scared to show up to a meetup and they're like, man, I don't know if people are going to accept me. There's probably going to be guys that are way more advanced than me. So I just wanted to ask the question, like, um, who here has been coding for more than two years? All right. More than five years. Technically. Now, a year. That's fine. That's good. That's good. All right. Now, as far as uh, frameworks, who wants to choose one? View, right? Anybody has used it? They like it? Okay. Uh, React. All right. Uh, Angular. All right. Hyper app. Nobody. Not yet. <laughs> Next year. Actually, guys. What do you guys get from you know, coming to a, a, a meetup? Do you feel like you guys get to meet new people? Is it for more for learning new things or, or getting to meet other developers? What do you guys think? I mean, anybody wanna? I don't know, I kind of just like to like be able to nerd out. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I, mean, I don't like have friends that code, so exactly. it's nice to come here and you know, hang out with you guys and be able to teach everybody stuff and learn from you guys and yeah, that's the overall. Yeah, I mean, as, as an addendum to that, like, yeah, I don't have many friends that code and because of that, I, you know, talking about 
what you do is just as important as doing it, I think. Yeah. Uh, it, it just, it, it's almost like a way of normalizing it in your brain, especially for someone like me who, it's not my primary career at the moment. I'd love for it to be, but it's, it's not. So just talking about it as well as doing it, like kind of helps kind of keep me in the mindset. Cool. And yeah, I was just gonna say it's pretty inspiring also to hear what people are working on, and you get that like accountability. Yeah, I was definitely gonna do that by next month. <laughs> no, it's just like a one every one month recharge. You're just like, all right, cool. Like people are out there grinding, doing their thing. Yeah. Now, yeah, go ahead. It's no, it's just also nice to know you're like not alone because I feel like learning to program by yourself is so like intimidating and it's so hard when you're like oh everybody's so much better than me blah 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 so like coming to one this is my first time here too so like it was really really cool to just be able to be like oh i don't really know that and for someone to explain it like nice. live code it like super cool thank you <laughs> i'd say the same uh, this is my first meetup as well and it was really really nice to watch you before you know, try to get the function to complete and then fail like over and over and over again. I was like, oh, I'm not alone. Like, yeah. like, like he's the one running this. Like, yeah. like, okay. like it's okay for that to happen and you yeah. figure it out. Semicolon, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Coding is eternal pain and pain loves company. Right. <laughs> yeah, and um, I wanted to ask, because this, this is something like my audience constantly asking me like, oh man, I'm going to show up and there's going to be guys who have been working in the industry, I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, how many people from here have worked as a developer and got paid for it? Cool. You see? So, yeah. <laughs> so pretty much, uh, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. Like, this is a pretty cool community out here. And I want you guys to go out there and just go to meetups, look in your local area, find a cool spot and yeah we here live long island javascript yeah you dick <laughs> nice yeah, so, so i'm mike alisea i'm a uh, professional programmer and uh yeah i'm the uh, co-organizer of the long island javascript meetup nice what's going on i'm um, scott devito i'm a programmer and uh, I'm, I'm another co-organizer of long island javascript meetup Nice. So how long have you guys been doing this for? Uh, so I've been like actually coding, I guess, since university. So, you know, six years or so or so. Yeah. yeah, I've been coding since I was younger. Just like websites and uh, for clans on games and stuff like that. But um, only very seriously web yeah. about two years. Nice, nice. Yeah. Best experience. Clans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the clans, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I mean, right now, what do you guys feel about this? I mean, it was a great meetup today. Um, you know, what type of vibe did you guys get from the, you know, the, the people that came in? I mean, it seems like you guys are, are pretty comfortable with everybody, and like they've been here before a couple of times. So, you, do you guys say there's like a, a pretty cool community you guys have here in the Island? I mean, yeah, are you guys, both of you guys from the Island. Yeah, 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 we're both from Long Island. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool in general. It's, you know, everybody really wants to learn. And uh, yeah, I mean, just in general, like the, the people that come, you know, it's just all walks of life. I mean, we have people that have been programming for like 30 million years there, and then other people just started. And it's, it's really nice to kind of be able to meet everybody where they're at and, you know, really be able to teach them cool stuff and also learn cool stuff from them. Sure. Yeah, everyone I've met so far from here has been such a cool person. I love meeting programmers, I guess, because to come out to a meetup, like, you got to be at least a little bit passionate about programming and creating and doing something. So it's always interesting to talk to everyone, and everyone's so nice. Nice. And I mean, what made you guys start like a, a JavaScript meetup? Like, I know there's so many so, languages <laughs> where, yeah. you know, you could go crazy with. And, you know, but why JavaScript? So we definitely have to uh, shout out Justin yeah, right now. Justin. Yeah, Justin. Justin. Wilkerson. Justin Wilkerson. Yeah, he's uh, he's the creator of this meetup. He's unfortunately not able to make it for the uh, next month, two months because yeah. of work. But he's yeah, he pretty much created this out of nothing and uh, babied it for about a year and a half, two years until we came here and then just, just became yeah. friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he he like originally made it, I think, to actually learn JavaScript. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so he created, like he pretty much like, 
I mean, this man pretty much has like five Udemy courses of slides worth, like <laughs> yeah. all that he made just to learn JavaScript and teach it to everybody else. And like, I think he originally did it to like, because he, he liked the idea of like, when you learn something to teach it to somebody else, you really like have to know it. So I think that's originally like kind of where it came from. So. Sorry if that's how they trust it. Sorry, yeah, sorry for wrong, Justin. I, th I think I've spoken to you about that before. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, guys, so I just want to say thank you guys for having me here. And yeah, thanks for coming, you know, man. It was a great event. Awesome. You know, it's like I haven't been in a meetup in more than three years. But yeah, this was definitely a, a very good welcome. Yeah. I'm Better see sure. you next month. Yeah, yeah. it's nice having you, man. I'll <laughs> hope to see you soon. Here. I mean, I live very, very close to here. Yeah. So it's like definitely uh, awesome. I'll be here. Sure. Sweet. All right, awesome, guys. Man. So thank you once again. Yeah, you thank already you. know it's codingface.com, codingface the YouTube channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Keep yeah, see you later, man. Keep yeah. at it. Chit, chit, chit. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. This was super dope, guys. Listen, I'm telling you guys, man, you have to start going to meetups, man. You never know who you're going to meet there, man. There's a lot of people who are doing a lot of good things for the community. And to me, you know, this was a great meetup, man. I was just super excited to know that there was one very close to my home. And yeah, I'll definitely be back next month and hopefully you guys will come here with me live <laughs> codingface.com you dig